Hi, Art Post friends. Thanks for joining me again for Drawing Together. Today, we are going to use our imaginations and place our thoughts inside of a circle shape on our paper and imagine that we are seeing clouds in the sky. Clouds are pretty interesting. They have lots of shadows, lots of bumps. Their shapes can be absolutely anything we can imagine. So get your pencils and erasers together and let's imagine a group of clouds in the sky in our thought bubble and bring something to life on the paper that wasn't there before. First thing we want to do is draw in our circle shape. Maybe with the side of my pencil, I'm going to come in here and sort of begin to give the background, the sky itself, some value and create some borders within this circle that will represent the edges of the cloud. I have some basic shapes here of clouds in the middle. I want to take a blender if you have it. It's a rolled up piece of paper. You've seen us use this before. And start to smudge this into a smooth value for the sky. If you don't have this, you can take um, a Q-tip or a tissue and just kind of smudge together. Even your finger will work. Smudge together and create a smooth surface for your sky. And this is a great time to kind of have an overview, a perspective. Do I want to add more? Do I want to take away? So this area right here to me feels a little too stacked. So I'm going to carve some more cloud out of the sky by creating another area of value. Imagine floating down a river and looking up at the sky. And so these clouds over here might be slightly closer to us. Um, so they may feel bigger. So I might erase this top part and actually create one larger cloud out of that section. And then as we get farther down the river and we're floating on our back, looking up at the sky, these clouds will begin to get smaller the farther they go away from us. Now within the clouds themselves, there is also value in the shadows. So I'm going to take my pencil and on the side of my pencil, I'm going to come in and find the heavy parts of the cloud. So now you might be wondering, how is this all going to make sense? Because right now it kind of all has the same value. There's circles, there's blobs. So let's go back in with our pencils and notice in our image where the value is the darkest. And in this case, it's going to be the sky around the clouds. So I want to come back in with a much darker value now and really commit to the edges and the shapes of the clouds in the sky. We'll start from those areas of darkness that we added and we'll just pull that material out towards the edge of the cloud. Let me can firm up our borders again, smooth it again. This is a back and forth kind of a process between erasers, blenders, pencils. And we just want to make these clouds feel kind of heavy. And just kind of work into those shadows. And remember, this is our imagination. So these clouds can be any way, any shape that we want to imagine them. And our erasers can always instantly 
change the whole dynamic of our image. We'll go back in again and crispy up these lines, bring some even deeper, darker value into the sky. A nice blue sky today. And we are interpreting our blue sky with this value of the pencil since we don't actually have colors today in our image. And you can see the more that I bring up the value of the sky around the clouds, the more contrast it brings to the image and the more pop the clouds seem to have coming out of the sky. So in our imagination today, we're just going to simply give the silhouette of a few flocks of geese maybe. We've all seen them and heard them flying about in the summer and the fall. Now we'll give our drawings some characters. Thank you so much for drawing along with me today. I hope you enjoyed our imagination in the clouds and sky with our friends, the birds. Clouds can go so many different ways. And I just encourage you to take your pencils out and try this at home. And remember, anything that you imagine, you can change and you can create something new. Happy drawing, everyone. And we'll see you next week.